Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Rachel and today we're doing an ultra productive day. It's just one of those days. You guys know the drill by now. I already made my to-do list for the day. As you can see, it's pretty long, longer than my usual type of to-do list, but that's because yesterday I spent the entire day picking out plants for our front yard and planting them with Anna. So that like made me push everything off until today. So that's that and also so it is AJ's birthday today. So my goal is to make his life super easy and do all of his chores for him. So I got him some clothes. I got him like five or six shirts from Marshall so he can pick and choose and then I'll just return the ones that he doesn't like. And also I got him some shorts from Lululemon and a t-shirt from Lululemon. I actually already cleaned the house today. That was the first thing that I did when I woke up and I already threw in some laundry. I need to return a rug, buy some hand towels, return any shirts that AJ doesn't end up liking, buy some litter, that's usually AJ's chore, buying litter and then replacing the litter. Grocery shopping, that's again something he normally does. I bought a plant yesterday and I wanna buy a pot for it. I don't know if I'll get to that today, but it's definitely on my list. And then I have to record two clips. One of them is a brand deal and then I have to record a, a little clip for another video that I forgot to do before. So that's the plan for today. Vinny's gonna be my helper. It's a Sunday morning, by the way. All right, AJ just tried on all the shirts I got him and they're all really nice, so I'm gonna show you. This one is $9. I don't know why I'm showing you as if you can find them because these are all from Marshalls, but I just wanna show you the vibe that I was going for. This one's one of my favorites. I love the pink dolphin. Tell me Bahama, such a good price. Okay, this one is really good. It looks really good on him. And also if he ever doesn't want it, this is definitely a shirt that I would steal. And then lastly, Nautica black, you can't go wrong. Originally $29, I got it for $9.99. Okay, this is what I was doing yesterday. So these long, wispy, yellowish ones are the ones that I planted. I planted three here. This was already here, and then I also planted this bigger one, and then this smaller one right next to it. So this is the whole setup. I really, really like it. I really like that I have more height on both sides. So now the next step is we're going to get a bunch of black rocks and fill this in, and it'll be perfect and then this one is the one that I want to get a pot for it's kind of hard to see with the lighting but we just couldn't find a spot for it in the garden so this is really cool it's like really spiky and modern I love it I might actually bring this inside somewhere because it's a low light plant this is the name of the plant filtered light slash shade it's called a yucca cane and it's really pretty I love it oh my gosh no way the chain guys the chain has been removed. I just have to take this off. This is the thing that's been hanging from this thing for the past two and a half years. On his birthday too. Happy birthday to me. Oh, um, by the way, this is the Lululemon shirt that I just got him. He says it's the best shirt he's ever had. So I'll link it in case anyone's looking. Okay, I just washed all of our little blankets because I feel like it helps with my allergies. Oh, I dropped the hot pocket on my thigh and it burned me, so I kind of have it on my face. Yeah, That's so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. I am a really messy eater, I have to admit. Yeah, I just ate a hot pocket because I could not stand how hungry I was and I dropped it on my thigh. It was so hot. <laughs> Look, I got a burn. What is going on? Okay, I am here at Kohl's to uh, return this rug. This is the rug that looks like a tortilla from Amazon. It came vacuum sealed, so the best I could do is wrap it up, wrap it up <laughs> in two trash bags. So I'm hoping that they take it because that would be really bad if they didn't. Okay, I got $5 in Kohl's cash and I'm gonna get these hand towels. These are the ones that I got before. They're really soft and I just need a few more of them. So I'm gonna grab these and I might get a towel too. OMG, you guys, getting litter is like the hardest thing in the world. I'm so out of breath. Can't I just do like auto refresh, auto refill, and it just ships it to my house? Let me know because that sucks. It's so heavy. I'm gonna go to the grocery store and then I'll catch you guys at home. I'll show you everything that I get. All right, 
I'm back from the store. Decided to stop at Starbucks and get AJ his pink drink, his birthday drink. And I got the Grande Shaken Espresso Oat Milk Latte and it's really good. And I asked for two shots instead of three. Um, and I highly recommend, it's really good. Got some fruits. Yogurt, tomato, cilantro, avocado, that's for taco night. Broccoli, whole grain bread. AJ requested a lot of strawberries and then blackberries were buy one get one, so I got two of those. Eggs, I got a sushi roll for lunch today. Tortillas, cheese, trail mix. Um, this is AJ's favorite sauce, lemon butter dill. He likes this on like salmon or these fish sticks. This is gonna be his lunch for the week. Butter was also buy one get one, so I got four of those. And I wanted to try this poppy root beer flavor. I, I enjoyed the raspberry one, so I figured that'd be a nice treat. Glass cleaner, peanut butter, and two of these California Pizza Kitchen roasted garlic chicken pizzas. These were two for 12, and they are still pretty expensive, like six bucks a pop but like nothing else compares the best pizza brand oh yeah and then i got these chicken cordon blues you just put these in the oven i also have shrimp in the freezer and uh ground beef in the freezer for the meals but i was telling aj i don't like grocery shopping i don't know what it is about grocery shopping i feel like you either love it or hate it but i think i just get really like overstimulated in the grocery store and i know i'm not the only one so comment down below do you like grocery shopping or do you prefer that someone else does the shopping. I don't mind like shopping for clothes or other things. It's just for some reason the grocery store, I just can't do it. I also showed you the towels that I got from Kohl's and then I have to put away all this laundry. And I'm also gonna wash all of AJ's new shirts and take off the tags and everything. Okay, before I continue with my productivity, I wanna talk to you guys about Nutrafol. They are working with me in today's video. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair supplement. And I know this for a fact because my mom is a dermatologist and she raves about this. She sells this at her practice and she cannot recommend this enough, you guys. So I have been using this for months already and it's just such a cool opportunity to be able to get to work with them. Nutrafol for women has 24 ingredients that help your hair grow. It also reduces hair shedding for me. That's the biggest thing that I've noticed is my hair just feels like stronger and more like rooted. I don't know if that makes sense, but I shed a lot. And since I've been taking this, my shedding has decreased greatly. I usually take it in the morning with breakfast. Um, it's kind of something that I added to my beauty routine. You guys know that my 2022 goal is to just take better care of myself and really put effort into the way that I look, including hair, skin, makeup, and Nutrafol is just something that I consider self-care. You guys, 86% of women saw improved hair growth when taking Nutrafol, and 84% saw thicker, stronger, hair that is definitely me I fall into those categories for me it's really about self-care this is something that I do for me and AJ loves that my hair is shedding less because he complains about it all the time my hair used to be all over the shower and now it's greatly reduced my shedding so I highly recommend you guys try Nutrafol Nutrafol is an award-winning hair growth supplement that targets the root cause of compromised hair health so join me in my hair growth journey tap my link in the description to get $50 off your first three month subscription. I don't think that I'm being that selfish right now. You said yourself you'd be breaking your vow. I can understand you're tired of this town And I'm not saying that we okay, have I just got an idea I think I'm going to take this bench and put it in the front Let me show you Also, the wind was so crazy yesterday That it knocked down all of our chairs Ew, it's soaking wet Okay You can stay there Okay, I put those towards the wall so that hopefully they don't get as wet, that there's a little coverage there. And also if it's really windy, they will be more protected against the wall. Anyways, I cannot wait to get a new fence. Guys, how cute is this? 
How freaking cute is this? Like get a little planter for that thing. Maybe I'll bring the other two chairs out here too. But for now, how cute. Should I get a runner? Should I get one of those outdoor runners here? This is garbage. I need to sweep this up. This was from yesterday. Guys, this hedge right here is so nice because I'm sitting and no one can see me. Like, it's not awkward because if someone walks by like on the sidewalk, they can't see me. How cool is that? I should have done this a long time ago because I'm more likely to come sit out here than in the back because in the back we don't have the cover yet for the deck so it's really hot. But here we have this roof so it's really nice. I love that plant. I'm so happy. All right, let's see everything I accomplished. I feel like I did a lot today. I returned the rug. I bought the towels. I'm doing laundry. Didn't need to return the shirts. I bought the litter. I went grocery shopping. I recorded the Q&A clip and I recorded the brand deal. The only thing left to do is to buy a pot for the plant that I just showed you outside. Should I do it? Should I go to Home Goods and buy one? I feel like I should. I'm, I have a lot of energy from the Starbucks too, so I need to like take advantage of this motivation and get things done. It is 3.30. I feel like I have quite a bit of time left and it's also daylight savings so we have more time during the day and <sighs> life is just good life is good but I also need to do some computer work so let me do like a few minutes of emails and then I will go get a pot all right guys I just got back from Home Depot they didn't have anything at Home Goods, so I ran over to Home Depot. I got this big clay orange pot because Chelsea said it's better if it's bigger. And I just have it rusting in there for now. She also said I could paint it black, but I think I really like the orange. I think it gives a pop of color, which we really need. But let me know what you guys think. Obviously, I'm going to fill it with dirt and stuff, but I think it's really cute. AJ's cleaning Vinny's litter. And I got a package, you guys. I am so tired right now. My back hurts. All the errands that I've been running today. I'm not used to running errands. AJ is the one who does like literally everything. So today made me realize how much he really does around the house. Kudos to him. But let's see what I got. Yay! Yay! Okay, everybody. These are garden solar lights. This is a solar panel. And then you stick it in the ground and then at nighttime it shines on your plants or your fence, wherever you put this, it will shine. I'm so excited. I think it's a pack of six. It says to charge for eight to 10 hours before using. So they probably won't work tonight, but I will charge them because it's already like five. All right, so that's what they look like. I just put them all around and let's see if they end up working. Okay, girlies. Last thing is done, guys. Just take a moment. Take a moment to appreciate this to-do list. I honestly did not think I would get everything done. I think it was the Starbucks. I wanna do one more thing today before I start like winding down for the night. I wanna look for a new self-help book. You guys know that I'm trying to read at least one self-help book per month, as well as one pleasure or leisure book. The leisure book that I'm reading is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Not a huge fan of it. I'm only like halfway through, but I haven't started my self-help book of the month yet. So I'm going to look up best self-help on Kindle Unlimited because I have that. And I'm also going to check up on my March goals because it's about mid-month and I don't know about you, but sometimes I set goals for the month and I just don't even look at them till the end of the month. Okay, movement 65% or higher. Guys, I'm doing so good in March. And as you can see in March, I had a, what is that? A 10 day movement streak. So I am on fire. I'm very proud of myself. Continue tracking, cook two new recipes. Oof, I have not achieved 
that yet. Make two reels for Instagram. I have not done that. If you didn't see my March reset video, I will link that down below. I went over these in detail. But so this is just a good reminder that I need to remember my goals and actually do them. No, thank you. No. You know what? I think I'm going to read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It's a very popular one. Everybody, I feel like, knows or has, has heard about it. And I figured I might as well read it once in my lifetime. So I'm going to read that. It's on Kindle Unlimited, which is free if you pay for the $10 a month subscription, which I do. And usually what I do is I read a self-help book and then I do a whole podcast on it, kind of like summarizing it, giving my thoughts or additional tips or criticisms if there are any. And that way, like you guys can listen to just a quick podcast episode instead of necessarily having to read every single book that I read. So I'm gonna start reading that one maybe tonight and stay tuned for the review. Over 40 million sold. I think AJ said that his parents and sisters are coming over to chill for a little because it's his birthday, like I said. Um, and by the way, he was doing school all day. He's taking classes for computer science. So it's not like I was just not hanging out with him. He was busy. And so I decided to run all those errands so that he could focus on school because he has a test coming up on Tuesday. Wish him luck. But thank you guys so much for coming along with me on today's productive vlog. I'm so tired. I'm gonna take a shower and just relax for the rest of the night. The work week starts back up again tomorrow and I feel like I kind of organized my life appropriately. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I don't think that I'm being that selfish right now. You said yourself you'd be breaking your vow.